Namaste to all my homeopathic doctors, fellow colleagues and dear students of homeopathy. Myself Dr. Charmi Athakka from Vadodara, Gujarat and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Homeopathic Audio Book Club which is a platform where I share book summary of homeopathic books. Friends, in this fast 4G world, we get less time to read books or even if we want to due to our busy schedule or sometimes we find it little boring. I will try to bring audio visual book summary of some homeopathic books which can increase our clinical knowledge and help us to heal our patients. You can listen to it while traveling or doing any household activity. Friends, this is my first attempt. Your comment and suggestions are welcome. If you like my video, do share it with your friends or in homeopathic WhatsApp groups. So, in this first video, I have given introduction to Dr. Margaret Tyler and in the next video, I have started with her book summary. Please listen to the second and third video as lot of clinical tips is shared which can be very very helpful in our practice. Margaret Lucy Tyler, she was born in 1859 and died in 18, 1943. Her father Henry Watlett Tyler was interested in homeopathy even though he was not homeopath and contributed a large sum of money for the expansion of London Homeopathic Hospital and then that hospital was handed to Margaret's hand. For 40 years she served at London Homeopathic Hospital. In the early part of the 20th century she had went to America and learned from many other homeopaths there but never met Dr. Ashanti Kent but she was actually very much influenced by his thought. So they have given the scholarship means Dr. Margaret Tyler with the parents had given scholarship to many students to went to Chicago and learn directly from J.T. Kent, earliest of whom was Sir John Wire. We can say that uh, it was Dr. Margaret Tyler due to which Kent's thought was widely spread at that time in Europe and London. James Compton Burnett and Robert Gibson Muller were her fellow practitioner at London Homeopathic Hospital. She has done great use of Nozod as a remedy to treat the past trauma like diphtherinum, morbillinum, varicellinum, etc. She used remedies in ascending potencies at small interval. And she had also made several remedies classic like chalcemium for never well since flu, bacteria for the later stage of typhoid and flu. She is the author of many books like How Not to Practice Homeopathy, Homeopathic Drug Picture, which is a classic book and which simplified the Materia Medica for the student, repertorizing with Sir John Wire, pointers to some hay fever remedies, pointers to some to some common remedies etc so it was all about dr margaret tyler so now we'll continue in the, our second video with one of the book of margaret tyler and in which i'll try to give the summary of that book thank you